Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, let's go to window and open Animation Composer 3. If you have not Animation Composer 3, I will add link in the description below. Select these flower layers, select these layer 7 and Ctrl D, move to up and press R, the chain rotation and move the anchor point down and Clisation tool, let's put here then select this flower layer 16 and let's Ctrl D, move to down, press S, open scale chain scale like this and put here and select this flower, let's Ctrl D and move to here, press S, chain scale and put here okay, and this flower, let's Ctrl D and move to here, press R, chain rotation and move to anchor point down Clusation tool okay, so, in this time, let's create fake camera movement for this, let's go to layer, new and null object and change name camera and hold control, double click pen behind the icon for move the anchor point center Clusation tool and go to window, enable align here and go to align, click this and this icon for move to center null object so right now again select all these layers and link to camera null object select camera null object, press S and change scale like this in this time, select these flower layers and go to starter presets to the layer and I will use overshot scale and click in let's see ok, this is very fast select this mark, let's move right ok, very nice and select this flower again use overshot scale, click in and move to right mark and select this layer 21 let's move to right ok, and these flowers let's use in let's see ok, and move the anchor point down Clusation tool and move to right move to right this mark and select this flower let's move the anchor point down use in and move to right mark for slow animation select this camera layer and go to here let's create new scale keyframe and go to fave keyframes chain scale percent 100 select keyframes make easy go to graph editor select this graph let's make graph like this ok, so back to keyframe, select last keyframe, move to right go to graph editor and select this graph let's make graph like this ok, select this last keyframe, move to left more for slow animation ok, that's good, and select this camera layer hold shape, press P and go to first second let's hold alt click position time icon and let's right here wiggle one seven four wiggle animation or camera shake animation let's see okay not bad let's double click for edit and right here ten nice, very good so, in this time let's close animation comes here window and right now let's select these layers and let's press S, chain scale and move the anchor point down Clusation tool and let's press R hold alt, click this rotation right here wiggle 1, 7 let's see animation
Ok, not bad. Let's double click for edit right here 6 and copy wiggle expression. Ok, select this flower and go to window, open animation comes there, anchor point mover. Let's move it down, anchor point and press R, hold Alt, click here, write expression. Ok, and press S, chain scale. And this flower, let's click here and press R, hold Alt, click here, Ctrl V for pass expression. And let's press S, chain scale. Ok, let's do it fast. So guys, after I create this animation scene, let's select this camera layer, go to layer, new and null object. And hold control, double click pen behind the icon for move to anchor point center, click station tool and click align. Ok, this is, let's change name, rotation. And go to first second, select these all layers. Let's link to rotation null object. Select rotation null object. Let's link to camera null object. Let's see. Okay. So in this time, select rotation. Let's press R, open rotation. And make rotation keyframe. Let's go to five keyframes. Chain rotation like this. And select first keyframe, move to left. And select last keyframe, move to right. Ok, let's see. So, let's go to last keyframe and change this 25 for slow rotation. Ok, very nice. And in this time, back to project and select this space composition. Let's close anchor point mover window. Select space composition. Let's move to behind all these elements. Ok, so in this time select this space composition, let's link to let's link to camera null object. Let's see. Ok, and let's press S, change scale. And let's see. Ok, so open space composition. And select these stars, let's delete, also this delete, and select this layer 4, let's go to FS Processors, FF Wave Warp, select Wave Warp, let's use for layer 4, and go to Solo, let's see, ok, we can change Wave Width, nice, and let's copy Wave Warp effect, Go to here, select layer 5, go to solo, control V for, for paste. Ok, nice. We can change this minus 120. And speed 0 0.5. And unsolo. Nice. So in this time, let's create new solid layer. Add name starts. Click OK. And select this solid layer. Go to FS Presses, search FX CC Star Bust. And se select Star Bust. Let's use for solid layer. Select the solid layer and hold Ctrl Shift Y. And change color white. Click OK. Click OK again. And change scatter like this. And speed. Also sizes, let's see. Okay, pretty good. So let's try change some settings for more natural. Okay, and speed, let's change this 0 0.01. Okay, that's good. Let's back to main composition and let's see here. Nice, I like it. 
Okay, so finally, let, let's go to Planet's Composition, select these Planet Layers, and let's copy back to Main, and Control V for Paste. So, right now, select these Layer Planets, and link to Camera Null Object. And select these planets, so let's move to here, and change scale. So, in this time, go to FS Preset, search Effect Gaussian Blur, select Gaussian Blur for these planet layers, and change blurness like this. Let's copy Gaussian Blur effect, select this planet, Ctrl V, and this planet, Ctrl V, and this, Ctrl V. Let's see. Okay, very nice. Let's select work area and preview animation. Nice. So, for better quality vectors, select these all these layers. Let's zoom in here for see difference. And click toggle switch mode and click this icon for quality vectors. Nice. Very easy. And let's see. We have very quality and better vectors. And finally, select all these layers and click this icon for motion blur. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck!